Hello everybody and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to get Grand Theft Auto 5 working with Vorpex. The first thing you should do is start up your Grand Theft Auto 5 game, go into your options menu and disable full screen mode, put it in window borderless and disable MSAA. At this point you might want to lower down some of your graphical settings for frame rate issues. There's a few files you should download and put into your installation directory where the launcher and your exe file is. There's a link in the description for those. You're also going to need a program called Flawless Widescreen. I'll include a link in the description to that as well. So let's swap over to the desktop now and I'll show you how to get it running. Step one obviously would be launch your game and set everything in a borderless window mode. Okay, before we get into Vorpex, let's start with all the files and actually setting the game up before moving on to Vorpex. So you want to download these files here, I've included them in the description. Uh, let's extract this. You want to copy this file and this file and put them in your Grand Theft Auto installation directory here. I already have them so I'm just going to replace the files in the destination. You want to do the same with gtavr.asi copy this, put it into here. For me I need to replace. Okay so now we have those three files in there we're going to configure Vorpex now. So if it's not already open start it right click configure Vorpex go to local profiles and type in Grand Theft Auto 5 right click create a new profile based on this select OK go to game settings optimizer do the same thing again Grand Theft Auto here we go select it make sure it's highlighted and then choose optimize settings pressing this button will apply the settings selected above optimized uh, if you might want to read through a bit of this, you know, um, it's, it's got some hints and some, it basically tells you what it's doing. Hit apply and close. Now, once you've installed flawless widescreen, you're going to want to open that as well. Once you've got flawless widescreen open, click settings, configuration, and just make sure your Steam library, if it's on a secondary hard drive, add your path here. If it's not, it'll already be in the standard, you won't have to do it, it'll, all your games will pop up at the side here and it won't be a problem. But if you've got it on a secondary hard drive, you want to make sure you you just add path and add where that is. So for me, it's TARDIS drive, Steam library, Steam apps, that's the one. And then, yeah, save changes. Select Grand Theft Auto 5 from the left and enable fix enabled. Slide all sliders to 34.5. I found that's the best. Check all these boxes except letterbox fix and acknowledge and ignore check that checkbox as well once you've done that just minimize don't close open the oculus app go into steam click play on your grand theft auto do not play it online you may get banned and i'm just going to grab my headset now okay so now we're in game you want to press the middle mouse button which should zoom you right out of the screen click story mode okay we're in game now and i've just put myself into first person hit 0, then hit 5, then hit 2, then hit 5 again, now hit 0. All this is done on the numpad. So now my head tracking is working. Okay, now I'm going to show you my in-game Vorpex settings. For you, you might want to adjust this slightly, but for me, this is what I've been able to achieve. So if you just want to pause the video but as they come up, I'll show you main settings image settings and head tracking settings thanks for checking out this video guys i hope it's helped you out if it did please give me a like if not give me a dislike and drop me a comment below i always love to know what's going on with everyone and if you have any special requests let me know peace out guys